Okay, so we're doing independent and dependent offense today to show if something is independent or not independent. I'm gonna throw up, uh, send you an email of the difference between independent and dependent ones. What I'm gonna teach you here, I'll give you examples, and I'll give you a couple here. Dependent is, um, if I rob a bank and I go to jail, one is connected with the other. Independent is saying one is not connected with the other. Uh, if I cards say, did I get a jack, replace the jack, and then I say next one, I get a diamond. Well, one does not affect the other. Yeah, but if I didn't replace it, it would affect it because then if you had 51 rather than 52 affecting the probability, and it's referring to affecting the probability. But some people will have the brain to understand that, some people won't. It's, it's one that would just wreck your head, so there needs to be something to be done about it. So we'll deal with Venn diagram to begin. So Venn diagram probably of uh, people are this was just shown universal people who went to brazil and france ted went to france five went to france and brazil and six went there okay we want to know is this independent or not okay well we know the people if it's independent p intersection B equals PA by PB. Okay? So we know in this that we've got 6, 10, 15. Okay? So that is 21. So we know 5 out of 21. Does that equal to this? Well, let's check. Probability of A, which is Brazil in this case, is 11 out of 21 and then multiply by this which is France is the second one which is 15 out of 21 okay so we've got I'll put into a calculator here or to my phone calculator is uh, 11 multiplied by 15 that's 165 over 21 by 21 that's 441 so we're saying oh, what does that work well if i say 165 divided by 5 is 33 441 divided by no they do not equal each other okay double checking that 5 divided by 21 is 0.23. 8 and this one 165 uh, 165 divided by 441 is 0 0.3741. Okay, so this is a check is if it's independent, not independent. Yeah. So that's that example. Now the example one that they give in the book is history, French, and they had an outside group, so they had 12, 8, 16. The probability of history, probability of French should equal the probability of H intersection F. H intersection F is, uh, how many is in total there, 60. Include 24 outside, that is 20 over 60 multiplied by 24 over 60, and they are all going to equal 2 fifteenths when it all works out in the end. Okay, so that's just an example of it working out there. Yeah, so are they independent? That is is independent. First one is not independent. Okay, what's the difference? We had an outside one here. That's all. Um, next one, what they say? Probability of A. Probability is zero point five. Probability of B is zero point four. Probability of A given B is zero point three. Okay. 
So what does A given B mean? So that's A line B there. Okay, I'll just move this over. So, first of all, this is a really, 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 really important rule, general multiplication rule. The second that you're given P, A line B, that's going to be probability of A intersection B equals the probability over probability B. Okay, so, once again, if it's independent, we know probability of A by probability B equals probability of A intersection B. Yeah, that's all you're thinking when it comes to independent. But we do not know if that is independent or not. So we need to find this first. So probability of A intersection uh, given B is 0 0.3. Then probability of this is what we're looking for. And probability B is 0 0.4. Bring it up, 0 0.3 by 0 0.4, that is 0 0.12. That is the probability of A intersection B. Okay, so I'll bring that up here. That's 0 0.12. Go back to this, probability of A was 0 0.5 from the example. 0 0.4, that's 0 0.2, which does not equal 0 0.12. They are not independent okay not independent once again you're going to be given a list of things that are dependent and a list of things that are independent you will understand once you see those i'm going to show you the maths here now there, there will be cases where when you roll your dice so first of all if a question says two dice are rolled two-way table yeah as in, this is example three, I'm not going to do it out. You do your two-way table. Second, whenever you hear two dice are drawn, you can't do it for three dice because we don't do a three-way table. It's impossible. You can't just have three dimensions. But in their example, they say event A, event B, event C, and you're going to say A and B are independent and A and C are not independent, and that's going to confuse you. It doesn't matter if it confuses you or not. What matters is can you work out the maths to show this if you can then that's all that matters because in example three you can work out the probability of a and the probability of b which is one over three multiplied by one over six which is one over 18 and then you can work out from your two-way table that the probability of A and B, it overlaps. That's 2 over 36 equals 1 over 18. Correct. Now, in the next one, A and C. Yes, the A intersection C. Does that equal probability of A? Probability of C. Probability of A, that's 2 out of 36. Does that equal probability of A? Well, the probability of A there is 1 over 3, and the probability of C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 out of 36. That does not equal they are independent. Okay, let's delve into one or two of these questions from the book. So... Let's say we choose question 11. For example, probability of A, 0 0.2, probability of B is 0 0.15. If A and B are two independent events, if they are, then straight away A intersection B equals probability of A by probability of B. That's 0 0.2 by 0 0.5, 0 0.1. Okay, easy enough. The probability of A given B, that is probability of A intersection B over probability of B. You'll understand that more in a while. That's 0 0.1 over 0 0.15. Get that in decimal form. And then the probability of A union B. Okay, now 
when you think of A union B, what A union B is all of A, all of B. So all you've got to do is you go probability of A, probability of B, it's probability of A plus probability of B. That's all it is. If they are independent, of course. 0 0.2, 0 0.15, and that is 0 0.35. Yep, easy enough, I would have said. Now, if you were to do that, well, we won't even get into if you are doing that as a Venn diagram at the moment. Um, we'll do one other question, and then we'll leave it at that. Question... I'll try to do a slightly different one. Okay, question 15. Question 15, two events are given. Probability of A, that equals that. Probability of B, given A, is 0 0.25. And probability of A, intersection B, is 0 0.12. Okay, now, the key thing to this is we're going to do probability of A, given B. That's probability of A, intersection B, all over probability of B. Yeah, that is 0 0.4 equals to 0 0.12 all over probability B, which is what we're going to need. Probability B is 0 0.12 over 0 0.4. If I went probability B given A, well, that's probability of A intersection B, which we know, or B intersection A, all over probability of A. Well, that's 0 0.25, probability of A. And why, why do you think I'm going down this route? I'm going down this route very simply because I'm looking for independent, and I need to find probability of A, probability of B, and check does it equal to the probability of A intersection B, to, which is 0 0.12 here. So probability of A is 0 0.12 over 0 0.25. Okay, then I would check, does probability B multiply by probability of A, equal to 0 0.12 and that would give us our answer is if it's independent so if it's independent equals probably a by probably b if if it doesn't it's not independent hopefully that helps um yeah there's one more thing that we're gonna have to come across it's mutually exclusive I don't want to give you that today. Uh, no, actually, I'll, I'll just tell you mutually exclusive. Mutually, mutually exclusive is basically the probability of A union B is probability of A plus the probability of B. Okay? If two events are mutually exclusive, I'll throw, I'll throw up... Um, so A, A union B is A or B. I'd, I'll throw up a thing from YouTube that will say what examples of mutual exclusivity. So you'll understand a little bit better. Hopefully that will help you out there. Good stuff.